Good morning, Asheville. I'm meteorologist Thomas Weinset with your weather briefing for today. Taking a look at what we have in store for us, it's going to be sunny today, but the temperatures will be dropping after that cold front passage last night. We will be warming up for the weekend, and we could expect another cold front by early next week. Currently here in Asheville, we have overcast skies with a temperature of 45 degrees, 83 percent humidity, and it is windy out there. Winds out of the north at 16 miles per hour, gusting to 30. Looking at our surface map, you can see we have that cold front that pushed through. It's draped across parts of eastern North Carolina right now, so they'll be getting in on some of these showers and storms early this morning. And you can see these temperature drops after the cold front. Really chilly up in Rapid City, 7 degrees as that cool air is spilling all the way down into parts of the south. 27 Chicago, 36 Nashville. And we have 50 in Atlanta, 51 Raleigh as the cold front's just pushing through there this morning. Bringing it back into western North Carolina, we have 42 out in Franklin, 44 in Asheville. A little warmer out in the Piedmont with 52 Spartanburg, 50 in Charlotte. Take a look at the infrared satellite image. You can see the clouds associated with that cold front now pushing off the coast. And uh, we have, still have some lingering showers here around Spartanburg and Charlotte, so you might want to bring out an umbrella with, your, with you for your morning commute. You'll definitely need an umbrella if you live anywhere from Greensboro all the way into Raleigh as they still have quite a bit of rain coming through, moderate to heavy at times, so that could mess up traffic for the rush shower this morning. What we did have yesterday with the cold front coming through was uh, severe weather all the way from parts of uh, Alabama all the way up into North Carolina, tornado wind and hail reports, tornado reports here in upstate South Carolina and in parts of Davie County and uh, North Carolina. You can see all those warnings that were issued stretching from Louisiana all the way up through parts of the south and even into Tennessee with flash flood warnings in parts of Tennessee there and tornado warnings all across the parts of Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, South Carolina, and North Carolina. This is one tornado that occurred down around Rock Hill, South Carolina yesterday evening right at sunset. You can see the tornado right here in the center of the frame right with the sunset. So that's a nice picture, but it was a deadly tornado. There was one confirmed fatality so far. You see just the extensive damage here, the car completely totaled, trees down everywhere. So not a good situation for people who live there, and there is extensive damage around the Thomasville area as well. Taking a look at our forecast, we see we will be clearing out, which is good news for those affected by the storms, but we will have this next cold front coming through around Monday of next week. Right now, currently, going to be coming through the plains and coming out of the Rockies. But today in Asheville, we have those partly cloudy skies with the high of 44, which has already occurred. Those temperatures will be dropping through the day to about 36 by 5 p.m. 18 mile per hour winds out of the north. Tonight will be clear with a low of 24, so it'll be a little chilly, so you might want to grab a jacket if you're heading out. No chance of rain, and tomorrow will be sunny with a high of 47, and we will be warming up into the weekend as we look at our five-day forecast with highs around 55 and 66 on Sunday. Warming up to almost 70 by Monday and Tuesday as that next cold front comes through. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more weather.